Welcome America, <laughs> welcome Canada, welcome Mexico, <laughs> and welcome Puerto Rico to a place where you can get your life. Orchids <laughs> for dummies. I am Foul Pal Darrell, and in today's video, I want to share with you fungal infections on your Phalaenopsis orchid. Is it normal for black stuff to start growing on the back side of my Phalaenopsis orchid leaves? And we're going to see what we can do about it. But you got to stay tuned. It's each one teach one. <laughs> so first things first, foul pals. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and like this video because I will not bore you, okay, with all of the details. Let's talk about what is normal, okay? This is a normal leaf turning yellow, okay? No diseases, no spottings or anything. This is normal. It's also normal for it to allocate the nutrients from the tip of the Phalaenopsis orchid leaf to the base of it. Never from the base, okay? If it's um, turning yellow from the base and the gr tip is still green, we have a problem, Houston. We have a problem. So... That is one example of what the leaves of a normal Phalaenopsis orchid turning yellow should be. Now, this little darling right here, the discoloration is not even the same as what we just saw. It's not even the same. Okay? Uh, as well as you can see, okay, the site of infection right there. Okay? What the orchid is trying to do is close up. Okay, allocate, you know, the same way our body fights off an infection. Those white T cells, if you have them, they're going to go attack, okay, the infection. In this case, it's going to be this fungal infection. Also, wear gloves because, honey, this is very contagious. It can spread throughout all of your plants as well as your fingernails, okay? A couple of years ago, mama was slicing and dicing and adding herbs and spices. And girl, she came and got a, girl, it gave me a fungal infection. Three of my nails had turned green. Also, you know, on the humans, you have gangrene where your toes will turn green. Girl, we talking, this the same thing. This the same thing. Okay, so first things first, after you have your gloves on, you're wearing protection because you don't want an OTD, orchid transmitted disease. We don't do it. We don't do it. Okay, so I'm not going to fertilize this baby. After I was able to see all of the blackness immediately, I stopped watering her because watering it will help it spread, baby. As well as all those humidity trays and humidity. Girl, that humidity can pick it up and carry it right on to the next plant. So be very uh, precautious when dealing with this fungal infection. So it has been about a week, okay, since I have fertilized her. I wanted to initially take her out of the pot, but I did not see that she had grown, okay, attached to the pot. But we're still going to do the best that we can do. Okay, you can see that this leaf is turning yellow as well. This is a normal leaf turning yellow. However, we typically, or more than so, want our leaves from the bottom, okay, to turn yellow. But in this case, with most her bottom leaves, okay, being what's left of the original plant, we want it to hold on to it because it's holding more nutrients than this one. Now this leaf, um, we want to cut it off as soon as we see it starting to spread, but mama was busy making other videos. So it's not coming off, okay? It's not coming off. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some scissors and we're going to sanitize those scissors and we're going to get to slicing and dicing. But I wanted to try to empty her out of the pot so I could see if anything was going on with the roots. 
So these are two really great roots. So when I repot her, I'm just gonna take that media out and do the best that I can to, you know, keep her in this setup, just with fresh media, because we don't know if this fungal um, infection has spread to the media. It can get in the media too, boo-boo. It can get in the media too. So we wanna take out all of the old media Okay, that's what I do, okay? According to what I feel is best for the orchid. Okay, so stay tuned. Let's get so some- Welcome on back, baby. So below, I have the Phalaenopsis orchid soaking into half rain water, half warm tap water, okay? And that's just to make sure that the roots um, will be able to tolerate some of the sprays that I'm going to spray on it today. Okay, so some of the things that I have that you will actually need is a little bit of alcohol, okay? I have below some Fizan 20, okay? Mm -hmm. And I also have some diluted hydrogen peroxide, okay? Have hydrogen peroxide, have tap water, okay? I also have a little mist bottle because the Fizan 20, you don't use it as an application straight out of the bottle. You have to make a solution the same way I do with my foliar feeding with the seaweed kelp, okay? So this is actually Fizan 20 as directed from the bottle, okay? So first things first, in actuality, I just like to be extra precautious, especially using, you know, dull, older scissors. I'm going to use it, use the Fizan on it, okay? As well as the alcohol, okay? Get it nice and sterile, honey, because just because, just the same way, just because you don't see coronavirus, okay, does not mean that it is not in the room. The same with this fungus, honey, it's very contagious. So we're gonna sterilize everything before and after, and we're gonna throw that water out, okay? Nothing else is going to go inside of that water, as well as we're going to clean this um, bucket or this bowl with um, some alcohol, some Clorox, okay? We're going to put the name of Jesus up on that thing. That's what we're going to do. So, I normally like to use a little cinnamon, but I did not have any, okay? So, we're going to have to use what we have, okay? Because we don't, we don't have what we want, okay? It's okay. So I actually was able to see that this leaf was pulling nutrients away as well. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that to make sure that it is not infected. I want to, um, now normally if I had caught it when it was still up here, when it was very prominent, because as I showed you in other videos, sometimes you would have to hold it up to the light because it's not always going to be so evident, okay? This is the same thing, okay? It's the same thing, ooey and gooey, and it's rot, okay? It's rot. That is what it is, okay? It's going to rot away, and It's going to rot away, so make sure that your other orchids are well protected. So in this instance, if I was going to, you know, try to cut it off of this, I would cut off everywhere I was able to see the black spotting. But as you can see, girl, that's the whole plant. And this is a plant I really don't want to lose. So that's why I'm letting it, you know, let Mother Nature take her course. So with this scenario, because it has not fallen off where it is getting ready to fall off and making sure that we're not cutting into the tissue of the good leaf. We wanna cut it as low as we can go. I hope that you can see, but I'm not about to tear the whole plant up trying to hold the camera. Cause I have to be extra careful. Uh oh okay so we got the leaf off this is going in the trash immediately immediately so um now that we got it off making sure that i don't see any black rings okay around it okay i'm gonna get my tweezers and see if i can actually pull the rest of it off 
I want to make sure all of it is off. But in the meantime, the half and half hydrogen peroxide, mm -hmm, let's go ahead and douse her down. Douse her down, honey. Mm -hmm. Welcome on back. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Do me a favor and like this video, okay? Now, we are going to use these, okay? We're going to get it nice and clean, nice and sterile, okay, with my Fizen. Uh-oh. Okay, just making sure it's nice and clean and nice and sterile. And if it's not able to come off, then it's okay. See, I'm able to pull it off. I pulled it all the way off. Okay, it's all the way off. Great, great, great. So now I'm going to use the Fizan down here where all of it was. You know, where all of the yellowing was. That's why I'm going to spray the, <clears throat> the Fizan. Get her out of here. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to spray the other leaves. And then I'm gonna sit it in front of a fan. I'm going to let it dry out for a day, okay? And then I'm going to soak it, you know, for like an hour before I actually repot it. Okay, so that's a whole different video. One last thing, Re after I sprayed it down with um, Fizan, that's when I'm going to rinse it off, okay? After it has set a while with the Fizan on it, I'm gonna rinse it off, sit it in front of a fan or under a fan to let it dry out, okay, overnight, okay? Thank you so much that um, this made sense to you. Now, remember, if I had left, um, if I had left all of this foolishness on here, you could have used that Q-tip, okay? That's a whole different video, but I could have used that Q-tip to go ahead and, um, I'm trying to get it to focus. I could have used that Q-tip to use the cinnamon, okay, to close this off, okay? But I was able to get it all the way off, trying to be safe and sorry. Please like this video, and I hope that you have a happy growing.